Oh, so it's been a good drive so far. It is wet today. It's pretty cool though, because it's just like, it'll dump it down and there's some blue sky and there's just been like multiple rainbows, which is pretty cool. Uh, it was longer than expected. Yeah, I thought so too. I'm not really sure why. I'm baffled. But it's worth it. Look at that. Ooh. Tomorrow will be worth it. We made the right choice not to go to the national park in the dark. Yeah. Still, if I had won that $40 million, I'd be on that boat right now. A question for you, Simon. <laughs> yeah? How many nights would you recommend to stay in Monkey Mire? Because it's like... It's well, such a trek from the highway. With weather like this, you'd stay here all week. I reckon three to four nights minimum. Well, it depends on what you want to do. Yeah, true. But if you're wanting to like chill and relax. It's, it's been like, a week here. Yeah, it's such a big drive. A week would be good. Depends on the weather. If you had good weather. If the wind comes in. And you know, if you get sick of dolphins, you know. This is all part and parcel of it. <laughs> Airing down the tires. And then we wait. Alrighty. Good luck to us. <laughs> trailer like driving here no problem but with a camper trailer it was pretty dicey um but Simon did really well and uh we got here safely so hats off to Simon um and this is the bay it's just beautiful you've got the most insane red sand against the white sand and it's just beautiful really really beautiful so I thought I'd go for a little wander and check it out. Ooh, why are you wearing shoes at the beach, Simon? <laughs> you look really sexy. I am sexy. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, going fucking kite surfing. Kite surfing, yeah, because there's so much wind. Look at it, it's beautiful. Perfect kite surfing weather. Love it. Buddy. Here we go. Hey! We got a whiting! Come 
way more. Oh, yeah. Right here. There you go, my darling. Let's have that other hook down the bottom there. Woohoo! All right, I need a drink after that. I've caught uh, three fish. Three? Yeah. Well, when we threw back. Ooh, what have we got here, Heidi? What have we got here for dinner, huh? Well, I just went out there and uh, Woohoo! Double banger! Landscape stunning. There is beautiful marine life. Highly, highly recommend coming down to Cape Coron. But spend a little bit of time here. Don't just come and look for two seconds. Like bring a picnic, come and sit and chill. It's beautiful. So far we've seen two stingrays, a shovel nose shark, dolphins feeding. We tried to fish, didn't really work. And now we're just chilling. One's in the water. Let's just put it that way. Don't be a wimp. Big baby. Mm. I'm in for a swim. Well, she finally got in. It took about half an hour. Let's just see how long this lasts. Is it getting any warmer? salute the sun there followed by a cackling laugh now the the wailing gibbon It's our last day at camp before we head home and it's about midday and the wind is just dying down so hopefully we get a um, little fish in and yeah our last day is amazing it's pretty nice it's still a little bit windy but I think it's dying down we've had such a good time here it's been beautiful um, highly recommend just checking out the national park and just spending time in the park not just a quick day trip you just 
don't get to experience it to its full potential. magic last day this was this has been really really nice I've seen a few dolphins out here in the water had a little bit of a fish caught the smallest whiting you've ever seen in your entire life I think it must have been like a hatchling or something um yeah just pretty sad to have to leave this all behind tomorrow Simon just filleting a whiting that he actually caught one that's edible 